Welcome back everybody to Body Bags. This week is going to be Killer Doll Week. Uh, I'm Critter Buster and today I bring you a review for a classic horror film that if you have not seen yet, you definitely need to go watch it because it's classic and it is a great movie and I'm sure you're going to love it. And that is Child's Play. Um, basically what happens in this film is the very beginning of it there is a serial killer named Charles Lee Ray. And he's being chased down by a local police officer and he pretty much gets in a shootout with him, and the shootout results in them in Charles Lee Charles Lee Ray hiding out in a toy factory in a toy store. Um, and so as he's getting shot, uh, he realizes that he's gonna be that he's gonna be bleeding to death soon because he's getting shot several times. So he remembers the um, the this voodoo ritual that he was taught uh, about transferring his soul into another another being. So the closest thing near him is a toy doll known as a good guy doll, and he transfers his soul into the good, good guy doll, uh, performing the uh, the basic ritual, uh, "Ade Dewey Dembula," or however it's said, which is um, which is pretty cool. It's actually a really cool uh, little voodoo ritual quote rhyme thing or whatever. Uh, it's definitely heard a lot throughout the movie, and it gets kind of stuck into your head, um, but. <clears throat> But the the doll that he transfers his soul to ends up uh, with this little boy named Charl uh, named uh, oh my god why did I just forget his name Andy Barkley uh, he ends up with this little boy named Andy Barkley and it kind of turns into this mystery mystery movie at first where people are getting killed things strange things are happening and during the entire time you're 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 led to believe that it's the the little boy Andy that's doing this, um, or that it's all in his head, and that the kid is just telling everybody that the doll did it, even though that it wasn't, it, maybe it might have been him. That's what you're led to believe at first, uh, but then it's pretty much clear once the, uh, you start seeing the doll move around and everything like that, um, and you're let, then you, you pretty much know that it's the doll that's doing it, um, and Andy is not crazy, but Andy's mom figures this out, and her, she goes to the police officer and tells him what's going on, and which leads to him to investigate the area and uh, try to hunt down uh, the killer doll. Killer doll nicknamed himself Chucky. Um, after all, that was Charles Lee Ray's original nickname, so he calls himself Chucky. And basically, the what happens is that Charles or that Chucky has to transfer his soul back into the first person he revealed his secret to, um, in order to be human again. If he doesn't do this in a certain amount of time. His body starts becoming real um, into human, and he'll be stuck inside that that doll form forever. Um, so basically, uh, Andy, his mom, and the officer are battling the killer Chucky doll for pretty much the entire movie. Uh, what makes this movie well until the very end, and then everybody, of course, gets the revenge on Chucky um, in an all-out chase throughout the house, which is, a, which is an epic chase through the house, is like cat and mouse type. Chase. It's a lot of fun. It's definitely interesting. But what makes this movie like such a standout movie? Not only is it the performance of the the doll itself, the animatronics and everything is really great and really cool to see, but it's the actual voice of uh, Brad Dorif who does who voices uh, Chucky. And there's just something about he has he has such a unique voice and it's just a standout voice that he gives this character he brings the character to life. And any time that you hear him. Um, you're just enrolled in like in, in thrilled with what he has to say and, and, and does and it's just it's just such a great character and you just love every moment of it. Um, and anytime you you see Brad Dorf in another movie, the first time he speaks, the first thing you hear, you know, you think Chucky. It's the only thing you think of nowadays. It's like Brad Dorf will, will forever be remembered as Chucky the Killer Doll as the voice of him. Um, but yeah, this movie is a fantastic movie. It's, the effects I think are fantastic. Um, if you have not seen it, like I said, you gotta go. You gotta go watch it now immediately. Uh, not only is it uh, Brad Dorf, but uh, Chris Sarandon in it. Uh, it's 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 a great movie. Uh, they do a fantastic job in this film. It did make a lot of sequels. Everybody knows that and the most recent one was Curse of Chucky, which I thought was pretty good too. But this one is for Child's Play, and definitely go watch the Killer Doll movie and check out some other Killer Doll films. Um, that's gonna be reviewed on the channel this week as well. This movie was also known as uh, Blood Buddy, which was the original script. Um, well, the original, uh, yeah, the original script was called Blood Buddy, 
but uh, once they actually made the movie and everything, they thought Child's Play was an easier sell than Blood Buddy, so they sold it as Child's Play. And uh, Tom Holland apparently had problems on set with uh, with the writer being there, which was uh, <coughs> uh, Don Mancini. Uh, apparently he had problems with him, uh, wanting to change things and do things a little differently. So they didn't allow uh, Don Mancini, didn't want him on set at all. They had a lot of problems with stuff. But uh, but all in all, I think Don, Tom Holland did a great job at directing this film. And it is a, definitely a, a classic film in the horror genre. So check it out, Child's Play. And stay tuned for next week for another review. See you guys.